Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild with a brand new series that you guys asked for during one of the recent live streams and we'll go into more detail later, but first, let's go ahead and click New Game and get this brand new series on the road. And now that we have gone through all of these settings and got them the way that I like them, let's go ahead and take down the starting animal here on Layton Lake District. Let's see if we can get the next shot right there, and that's definitely not going to do it. So, a little bit unfortunate. We'll have to track it down and figure out uh, where it's going, but we, had, uh, we, we at least tried. Now, as we go up to unlock the first outpost, essentially the way that this all came about was during one of the recent live streams, I asked everybody that was watching, which I believe was a couple hundred people at the time, what type of series I should do here on the channel, because I wanted to do a new playthrough, but I wanted to add a twist to it since we've already done like a full playthroughs in the past that were more of like a guide playthroughs. But I wanted to do something that was more of just for fun, so we decided on doing a no DLC playthrough with the goals of getting one great one and at least one diamond and rare off of every map that we have, which as of now is just two, which gets me to the next part of this series. I asked if we should add a couple of DLC maps in since they're a little bit different than the other DLCs and the majority of people that were watching the stream agreed that it would be good to add a couple different maps in uh, but not use any of the items that come with it since it's primarily a no DLC playthrough. But uh, we wanted to add a couple maps because without a couple of maps added in this would be a incredibly quick series. It would essentially just be get the great one and two diamonds and two rares and the series would be complete. So we decided to add a couple more maps in and I'm going to let you guys decide in the comments what those maps should be. Well, here we go. Let's go ahead and take down our first white tail deer. That is a beauty right there. And that will get us a little bit of money to spend. Let's go ahead and grab this deer right here. It honestly did not run far at all. And that's just a single lung shot as well. So that's definitely not too bad right there. Now, one thing that's going to be really interesting is the fact that we won't have any lodges besides the Leighton Lakes Trophy Lodge. So, I mean, maybe we could make it a series of filling that lodge as well. I'll let you guys decide in the comments because I really don't know what we should do with this series. I just, I, all I know is I want to make it no DLC for the most part. And I'm probably not going to show a lot of the uh, unlocking of outposts and stuff because I've shown that in every uh, new account playthrough that we've ever done on the channel. And I imagine at this point you guys are tired of seeing the uh, basic beginning stuff. And I mean, the whole point of this challenge is just to try and get a great one and a diamond on every map uh, that we have access to as well as a rare on every map that we have access to uh, before we end the series or before we can end the series. So... We'll probably just focus a lot on the actual hunting and less on the uh, unlocking and exploration aspect. But I mean, if you guys want to see some of the exploration and unlocking of stuff in the videos as well, I, I, I suppose we could put some in there too. So as far as stuff to purchase gun-wise, we don't have a lot of options. The 7mm Empress Magnum is here as well as the 270 Warden. If we go to handguns, we have the 44 Wildcats. So basically all the special skins you don't have to get rifle score or handgun score to get. So we can work towards those, but we won't be able to get the ammo until later, so that is a little bit of a problem. But until then, we can get the Sunberg 454 and purchase the ammo for it, I believe, as well. Yeah, if we go down here, we have the Jacketed Hollow Points, which aren't amazing, but they're better than what we have access to as of now, so it might be worth going for. In fact, let's go ahead and do that since this isn't a DLC, this is part of the base game, it's just one of the free items that you can get. Let's just go for that, and then we will go for... A little bit of the jacketed hollow point rounds. I think that's going to be a good uh, first purchase here on this account. And of course you start with a 270 Stradivarius as well. So we'll kind of work towards that at some point. Once we get uh, a little bit more rifle score I believe. Because we still need to unlock the ammo for it. We might have access to soft points. But until we get poly tips it's not that much of an upgrade. Yes yeah, so we do have access to the soft points. But I really want to get to the poly tips before we start working with the 270. So... We'll kind of work up to that throughout the uh, day and maybe the next day as well. That is an absolutely beautiful whitetail buck right there. And as we take this guy down, I'm going to talk about one more thing for this series that I, I don't know what to do about. So if you own this game on PlayStation or Xbox, you get access to the ATVs and the tents as part of the base game. You don't have to pay anything extra to get them. They're just part of the game when you purchase it. But here on PC, that isn't the case. On PC, you have to purchase those as DLC. So the question is, 
since it's part of the game on both consoles and not part of the base game on PC, should we use tents and ATVs? I personally think it's probably something we should since the majority of players are on Xbox and PlayStation, so most of you would be starting a brand new game with ATVs and tents. So I do think we should include it, but I will uh, leave it up to you guys once again. Leave it in the comments what you think about that, and we'll kind of make the decision based on the feedback as well as my own thoughts. There's our whitetail buck. That is a gorgeous deer. 225.58 is not bad either. That is a solid buck with a uh, nice little right lung hit, though we did hit a little bit high. Definitely could have been a better shot. But you know what? It was good enough to give us a level up, and that's all that really matters. Let's put into our skills here. What do we want to go with? Do we want to try and get spotting knowledge up, or do we want to work towards getting some of the perks in here, like track knowledge, uh, some of the ones that help you be a little bit quieter, and then eventually improvise blind, endurance, and disturb veg. I don't know. I'm not really sure which way we should start with. I, I'm, I'm going to go ahead into here. I want to try and get to spotting knowledge as well as sight spotting as quickly as we can. So let's put one into scent tinkerer. Well, let's get this turkey down if we can. This is not the proper ammo. But uh, at this point, we really need to try and unlock some of the uh, stuff like bird shots. So I'm going to take as many shots at these guys as I can with the buckshot. Well, that's going to be two dead turkeys, so that will give us a little bit of shotgun score. And, uh, I mean, only 21 shotgun score, but every little bit's going to help at this point. And if we can get close to some deer, that's really going to help. And one more turkey. Uh, that's a lot of cash, too. Like, these turkeys give so much cash for how easy they are to take down. Uh, to be honest, that's more money using the improper ammo then I got for a whitetail using the proper ammo, though that could just be because of the consecutive harvest. Well, we have found an absolute gold mine for whitetail. We have three zones very, very close to each other. That's going to be really good for uh, the potential whitetail great one grind in this series, provided that's what we decide to chase after. And oh my gosh, that is a big buck right there. You know, I don't know if that is... I actually don't... I don't think that is diamond potential. That doesn't look like the correct rack, but that is still a very solid deer. Actually, a lot of these deer are very solid. We got to try for at least one of them. We're going to hope that hit. It was kind of in a bad spot, but I had to take the shot or else I was probably going to get nothing out of there. You know, once we get to a better scope and a little bit better ammo types, we will start being able to take these down much more successfully, even with weird shots like that. But... Right now, this is the best that we can do in some scenarios. Man, there is more whitetail here. Of course, I, I spooked off a lot of them, but that is crazy. We have found so many whitetail in just this small area. This is going to be a hot spot for us when we start grinding. That is actually pretty crazy. Now, let's get her down real quickly and try to maybe get another one. I don't think we'll be able to, but it would be nice if we could. Well, it sounds like there's a couple deer still close. We might be able to get a couple before they run away. And that's not going to be an easy shot, unfortunately. So we're probably not going to get to take another one down. But we do got this one down here. So let's go ahead and collect that cash and move along towards the outpost. Because that is our uh, primary goal for right now is just getting to another outpost. So I went ahead and bought a couple uh, boxes of 243 polymer tip bullets now that we have finally got over here to unlock this outpost and we're going to go ahead and equip them now. Let's uh, slap those bad boys in there and get rid of those soft points. That way we can start actually getting some good shot on these deer at uh, different angles that we previously would not have been able to. I have no idea if that is going to penetrate to a lung from that angle. But I'm going to hope it does, because that'd be really nice to get a moose down. I believe they do give a little bit more cash than the whitetail, so that would be quite amazing. Well, we did not get penetration. No organs hit, so that's not going to die, most likely. Let's move on and uh, try to unlock this next outpost. Well, we have done it. We made the long trek over here to Runaki Lake. It is a very long walk to get here. We've easily gone over a couple kilometers uh, let's take a look at the map real quick. Yeah, we have gone 
all through this area during this episode. And now we have finally made it to one of my favorite lakes in all of Layton Lakes. And we are met by a moose. Well, I mean, I suppose we could try to shoot a moose now. All right, well, let's test if we can hit this shot with the 454 from this range. We will have to aim a little bit high, but I think that should be good. It looks like it was a hit at least. So maybe we've killed ourselves a moose? And of, of course not. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to get even closer than I wanted to to actually get a good shot on a moose with the uh, with the hollow point ammunition. It's just it, it's just not panning out the way I wanted it to. You know, hon honestly, at this point, we might be better just trying to hard shot it with the 243. I mean, that seems like it's gonna be a much better option. So let's just prone here and see if maybe we can get a quick little heart shot on this moose. You can take them down pretty quickly with any weapon, provided you have poly tips, if you manage to get a hard shot. That looked like a decent shot. Though I can't tell if it was hard. I, I don't think it was. Maybe we at least got into the lung, but uh, I don't think that was a hard shot. We are just not on point today with these moose at all. Man, that did not even get to vitals. I, I guess that we're just not well enough equipped to take down the moose. You know, I thought that for sure a polytip 243 could get a hard shot, but I guess I thought wrong. I guess I thought wrong. And the 454 also seems to not be good at even getting vitals at all when you don't have the better ammunition for it. So I guess we're going to have to just stick with deer until we get a little bit more uh, rifle score built up. Now I think it's time we go ahead and earn some cash, so we're just going to go ahead and blast a bunch of whitetail, and once we get done blasting, we will see how much money we have at the end of it all. And we have finally done it. We made it to the next outpost, so let's go ahead and unlock that. We also did get a level up while shooting all of those uh, white-tailed deer and a couple other things here and there. So let's go ahead and add our perk point in. Question is, what are we going to do? I'm thinking sprint and load is going to be valuable, but so will muscle memory being able to uh, ready a next shot without having to leave the uh, aim mode. That's pretty vital, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And then uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the codex. We have a total of 12 harvests with one gold, five silver, and two bronze. Definitely not too bad of a start. We also have, uh, if we go down to the hunting log, this is everything that we killed. And you guys can kind of see like how uh, much minutes were in between each kill. We found a few zones on the way up here. Uh, we got a few white tail right there. We got a bunch of white tail zones down through this little stretch right here. And then of course the ones that we had found previously. So we're off to a pretty good start in getting all of our white tail zones on this brand new playthrough. But thank you all so much for watching episode one of this brand new series. Again, let me know in the comments about all the things I asked during this video because this sh this series will be greatly shaped off of what you guys want to see in the future in terms of whether or not we use a couple different DLC maps or if we use the DLCs that are free on console, like, let me know what we want to do with this series. And of course, I'm going to base it heavily off of what you guys say. Thank you all so much once again, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.